if you do end up enjoying our videos, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated when a new one gets uploaded. Ahoy! Let's think. Today we answer the question, what is a flood? So you probably have heard the word flood before, but what is a flood? Floods are known to be one of the Earth's most common and most destructive natural hazards. A flood is a natural event or occurrence where a piece of land that is typically dry suddenly gets submerged underwater. But what causes flooding? There are actually several reasons floods can occur. They can occur when either there is too much rain, or when a dam breaks, or even if a large amount of ice melts. Like, have you ever left the water from a faucet running too long when taking a bath? The water fills up the entire bathtub to the top and then eventually pours over the side and onto the bathroom floor. The floor, which is typically dry, gets covered in water, getting everything wet, and you have just flooded the bathroom. Fortunately, most floods can take a while to develop, giving people enough time to avoid them, so it's important to keep updated on weather conditions where you are, so you don't get caught in the middle of a huge flood. Unfortunately, floods typically do a lot of damage to the areas they occur in. Floods cause more than $40 billion in damage worldwide annually. They do damages to buildings, homes, roads, pretty much everything, and it takes a lot of money to repair everything back to normal. Even when the floods dry up, they leave the area covered in silt and mud. The water and landscape can be contaminated with hazardous materials, such as sharp debris, pesticides, fuel and untreated sewage. If it's a residential area that was flooded, usually the area isn't safe to occupy anymore due to diseases that could be there now. So it's very sad to hear people losing their entire homes and having to move somewhere else due to a flood. There are ways that floods can be prevented or reduced. One of the biggest ways is by adding retaining walls or sandbags if you live in an area that's prone to flooding. It's important that your city spends the time and money planning for floods so everyone remains safe and dry. So that answers the question, what is a flood? That took some thinking. If you enjoyed watching, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel.